My memories of Lime Rock with the GT2 car was the, the throttle kept on sticking during the race, and I don't know how many close shaves I had trying to keep it off the barriers. If you remember, the, the fuel was, was hurting the trumpets in the engine, and that was making the butterflies stick open every now and again. It was horrendous. So looking forward to coming here with a, a true, completely sorted out car. Of course, it's going to be really busy with traffic, the, uh, the number of cars on track. That's going to be a, a handful. But uh, in an LMP1, it's just going to be at Lime Rock, you know, awesome. <laughs> Lime Rock is um, probably the smallest circuit of the championship. It's, uh, it's a circuit where uh, some drivers are not happy to drive there, but at the end of the day, it produces always really great races because it's tiny, because there's always lots of action. And actually now it's been resurfaced, which is before was a little more challenging, but it's still, it's still a great place. And uh, there's a lot of work for the drivers and uh, very difficult to go through traffic. There's a really fast corner into the straight, which is really challenging. Um, I think the car should be nice there. I think the P2 cars are going to be strong at Lime Rock in the same, same way that the P1 cars are strong here. So um, it's, it's certainly going to be interesting, but it's the way it should be, you know, with the, the cars being equalized and uh, some tracks we're going to have an advantage at, some tracks we're going to be uh, slower at. So it's going to be good fun for sure. We're going to just try and uh, take a good haul of points and uh, fingers crossed Paul will be back as well and, um, and uh, he can enjoy the, the rest of the season with us. So, uh. Well, um, patience is going to be the key. You know, if you look at history, the, the LMP drivers just get impatient. There's going to be over 30 cars. So, you know, it's not about set up anything, but um, just patience. That's going to be the word of the weekend. Oh, good. And we worked hard to make this car pretty nimble because we knew we'd be racing LMP2 cars. You know, they restricted our power down. So we've worked really, really hard to make the car more nimble. You know, we showed that at Long, Long Beach, for example. People were surprised that a P1 car could do that. And even Emmanuel Piro said, wow, this car is really nice in the twisty bits. So, yeah, I'm excited to go. Ah, it's a very fast car. It's also one which encourages you to explore the grip because it's nice and predictable. Uh, with, a, with a good setup, you do feel as if you, you really do know where you are with the car in terms of the level of grip. So I think we're, we're going to have our hands full in dealing with the LMP2 cars. It's not a circuit which suits the big LMP1, the heavier LMP1 type cars, but all the same, traffic's going to be the main thing. So it's going to, whoever's going to be able to have a good clean race, keep out of trouble, is going to win. But it's a bit of a blackout really. I think it's something that, you know, you need to take a certain amount of risk all, always to, to make the most out of it, but, but it's a very fine line between taking too much risk and sending yourself out of the race. So It's like at Laguna Seca. Thinking about how you can get through the traffic without losing speed, without actually compromising either your lap or other people's lap that you're overtaking is an absolute art.